Never trust your eyes the first time because something which is complex, remarkably intriguing, splendid in its adequate melange of what we might suspect as realism, the animals we recognize. But the animals are placed in another world, and it is the combination which makes judgment not as easy to reach. Because, yes, you see the dimensions, you see the colors, you think you know what's going on, but it is a very provocative uh, series of paintings, something which happily denies quick explanation. So here I am making a quick explanation. There is also, and that's why I think it's a sensational show, a remarkable harmony between the four canvases that you have selected or that the artist has suggested you explicitly put one next to the other. And so what I find remarkably fascinating is momentarily my transformation. I don't believe when I look at something gripping, which grips me, something out of the painting, I have to be modest about such a reaction because the work is so impressive, making a presence, a pressure on the eye that for a good moment, I find that I have to step aside of myself. I have to let myself be taught, be redefined by what I see. So it is not only what I see, but what the artist's work makes me see. That's a double vision. I do not argue because I find it uh, thrilling. I am uh, here with no uh, other judgment than that which the artist provides me with. She establishes the rules of perfection. Everything here is minutely defined by her to the point where someone might suggest there is an inch of surrealism in uh, the rejection both of the unique work of representation and if you were to separate the one from the other, you could say it's mythic something here is simultaneously seductive and perhaps dangerous. There are signs, multiple signs, which in a sense you can only appreciate, describe, feel, because this is remarkable also because what is here on the wall steps out. It is no longer only a flat surface hanging on magnificent white walls. These are, the four of them, as such that they entice you, that not only do they look at you, whether animal or human, but you are enticed into the painting. You become a traveler. You become one on an expedition of vision. You go from one to the other, but that's not significant. 
a show of this nature suggests the unitary need to focus on the one and then the other, etc. But you can't almost say, ah, all these are similar, I really have found them thrilling, and they are a unit. They're not a unit. Each one, from what I can see, I say see, is remarkably different. Otherwise, you would have the banality of repetition. Uh, we do not hear, I do not hear, after looking and looking, assume that the colors, the brushwork, the disposition of figures, whether animal or human with next to the human, another human, so that things are simultaneously real from a very old definition of the real, but a fantastic melange which redefines art for me because it brings me into and it takes me over. <laughs> I am simultaneously, consequently, magnetized by what I see. And it's wonderfully complex and wonderfully reachable. Mm. These are not conundrums. You don't have to resolve what the painter or the canvas wishes to do. It's not something which I wish to resolve.